Coming on the air tonight, updating our series of reports crossing borders, migrants in the Midwest. We hope you're safe. I'm Joshua Shore. And I'm Lauren Ma. Sanctuary cities from New York to Chicago are asking for federal help as asylum-seeking migrants stretch resources thin. Our George Mele has been covering this story for weeks now. He joins us with what he's learned. George. Uh, bottom line, sanctuary cities, including Chicago, have been overwhelmed by a surge in migrants. Chicago's nearly out of room to house migrants just as a windy city winter looms. It is nothing short of a life-threatening drama, and the Biden administration is largely leaving sanctuary cities to fend for themselves. When 16 News Now visited the south side of Chicago late last month, residents in the Brighton Park neighborhood were incensed. As busloads of asylum-seeking migrants arrived in Chicago, settling in makeshift tent cities, Chicago broke ground on a winterized base camp for the city's new arrivals. Brighton Park residents didn't like that one bit. Now, more than a month later, the construction is fully underway, with giant steel beams reaching into the Chicago sky. A lawsuit's been filed to halt the construction, but right now the plan remains full steam ahead. Although Chicago's Department of Emergency Management says the influx of migrants has slowed, there remain thousands living on city streets. Many we spoke with last month had only recently learned they were no longer in Texas. Imelda Salazar is with Chicago's Southwest Organizing Project. You know, I've been at the Union Station. They didn't know they were in Chicago. They thought it was Texas when they got off that bus. Oh. So it's really like the basics, taking them to shelters or police stations and navigating the city. Salazar and her largely volunteer team are working day and night to ensure the migrants have food, shelter, and a measure of hope. Chicago churches have become a part of that effort. It was a 15-minute bus ride this week for 80 migrants who are moving into a church in a community center after sleeping at the 5th District Police Station for months. Haley Rosa Ortiz Ramos came to Chicago from Colombia back in September. The help the church is giving us for me is the best thing that could have happened. I got sick, I was sleeping on a cold floor, and the weather was cold. Haley and the others will be staying here at the Clio Center in Washington Park. The rest next door at the affiliated Life Center Church. So we're inviting community partners. We cannot do this work alone. You know, it does really take a village. And so we're going to be reaching out to community partners. We invite local businesses to get involved in the effort. We want to have clothing drives and health screenings. Now, the combined crisis of lowering temperatures and a lack of shelter is creating an exponential increase in tension. Some jurisdictions have been forced to tighten up policies that previously ensured shelter for the homeless. Homeland Security is holding legal clinics to process migrants' work permits more quickly, and that's key to helping migrants provide for their families and move out of those shelters. And to think some of them thought they were in Texas. Just eye-opening reporting all around. As always, George, we appreciate it. Thank you.